hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you some changes i've done to wrapping in mesh morpher and uh, we will also test it out with the uh, queen and money and uh, some beta humans uh, let's test this first uh, with the uh, queen and money let's open the queen mesh and now let's open the wrapper and uh, select the source the money money skeletal mesh just uh, hide the reference meshes so we won't do any bone alignment in this uh, video so we just uh, gonna test out the new wrapping algorithm improved algorithm and the control points as well right so first of all uh, let's reset the wrapping settings okay and uh, let's test with the defaults to understand better uh, how uh, uh, the meshes uh, work uh, when they're wrapped right so let me select a new morph name test one okay the wrapping is uh, getting completed and uh, let's uh, see what uh, we got right so uh, one second let it uh, finish come on okay and uh, let's test it out so this is what we got with the default settings in uh, wrapper and uh, you can see mostly everything uh, went fine uh, except uh, for the hands right we, we we have problems around the fingers here so we have to fix this so we go back to wrapper and here we have two possibilities uh, with the control points uh, selected in advanced uh, we have to uh, pick uh, correspondence uh, control points in both meshes right so we can pick one correspondent uh, con uh, control point and uh, use uh, oh so not here and uh, use uh, a higher influence radius for uh, for it like uh, 20 I think this uh, would do it or you can uh, can use smaller uh, control points influence radius let me remove this we remove by right clicking on on them on the control points and you can also do this right so if you do this let's do first this and then we will try the other one right okay this uh, sphere is the influence of the control point and you can enable it in settings to visualize uh, how big the influence is gonna be I think uh, we should uh, in try to put it a little bit uh, to match both sides right this is what you want you don't have to be precise but uh, it has to match obviously because we are basically instructing the non-rigid algorithm that uh, uh, what we have here we want here right so we have to, to do it good right so I'm gonna pick okay and let's do for the thumb as well just two points just two points maybe try to put here one point we're trying to to make it so other hands are properly wrapped right so I think this is it let's test it out press ok ok <coughs> the wrapping is uh, almost completed and let's test it out
So this is the result. Uh, you can see the result is pretty good. We really nailed it, right? So this is uh, how it looks without the control points and this is with control points. Pretty good. If uh, you see a lot of bumpiness uh, in the mesh, you can modify uh, the smooth uh, impact this uh, here you modify uh, the smooth impact at the final of the wrapping uh, algorithm so let me show you if i select two iterations how uh, it will look okay let's test it out So with two final smoothing steps, you can see already the, uh, the mesh is smoother, it's uh, not uh, having that much bumps. You can also modify the smoothing per iteration in the wrapping algorithm in the non-rigid fitting. Uh, you can uh, set higher or lower elastic uh, smoothing iterations or sticky iterations, right? This uh, is the uh, strength of the smooth, right, of the smoothing algorithm inside the, the non-rigid uh, fitting, so keep that in mind. All these settings, don't take, don't take them uh, for granted. They are meant to be modified until you find something that works for that specific mesh you are working with, right? So now you can also save control points. So you can... Uh, uh, let me save. You can save to an asset and uh, if you want to load later on you can just uh, go to load. Depends if for target or for source. And just double click on, uh, the, ma on the asset and it will load them. And now let's try the same thing for the hands but with a single control point with a bigger influence radius, right? And we will select probably like 20, 20 something like this. Like. So, and uh, let's see how this works, right? Okay, let's see what we got. And uh, we have the we have the same result uh, uh, with one uh, control point with a bigger influence, right? So now uh, let's switch. Uh, let's uh, play with um, metal humans. Let's uh, load uh, a meta human, and also let's wrap it around another meta human, right? We're gonna hide the reference meshes. We don't do any bone alignment, alignment, so we don't care about that. And uh, let's uh, let's put back the control points influence to a smaller size, right? The default size for our experiment. And uh, let's pick the influence points, right? So we want to correlate them as much as possible. You can add as many as you want, you can overlap them, you can do whatever you want. Uh, it's, a trial, it's a trial and error, uh, keep that in mind, it's, it's a trial and error thing. You're meant to test it and try it until it works best for you, right? sixth one is here and uh, let's put on the ear lobes the ears are a little bit different in both meshes probably the non-rigid uh, algorithm would uh, catch that but uh, for the sake of it and uh, let's put one on the chin right 
and maybe the jaw, the jawline, I think it's important. Somewhere here. Right? Somewhere here. And maybe the cheeks here could help a little bit the algorithm. Why not? Let's test it. And maybe here it's fine. And maybe another one on the nose here. Yeah, and uh, I think this is it. Let's uh, let's test it with the defaults, with the stick iterations and elastic iterations five. Well, we can uh, leave the smooth iterations to one. I think it's uh, you'd want uh, more smooth uh, iterations at the end of the wrapping when the meshes are bigger, right? For the full uh, body meshes or something like that, you'd want uh, to smooth the overall result, right? For a face, if you have bumps here and there, it's fine, right? So let's see how it works. Oh, let's click on both target name. Test one. okay uh, the wrapping is almost complete and uh, let's see how uh, it looks so this is what we got and this is our uh, source mesh the kind of look similar right you can also do uh, less sticky and uh, elastic iterations maybe try to decrease smoothing right let's see how it looks with these settings just for the sake of uh, trial and error right So this is the result, less smoothing, uh, with the control points, kind of big control points. You can see uh, here uh, a, a little bit of smoothing would uh, help out to, to improve uh, the final result, right? And uh, it kind of looks close to the mesh, to the source mesh, it, it kind of looks okay, I think. I mean, we can try for the sake of it to to smooth a little bit uh, the eyelids here, right? Uh, let let's increase a little bit and uh, let's select the head shader only. Yeah, so we we'll only have the the head uh, shader. Maybe a little bit more power. And probably uh, doing this would sort out the errors, right? Or even restore it if smoothing is not enough. You can modify it directly in uh, in uh, Mesh Morpher, right? Mm -hmm. So if you restore it, this is how it's gonna look. Let's revert it. So yeah, uh, invest a little bit of time. Uh, you need to not take these settings for granted. You need to test it out. You need to find what works best for you, right? So don't forget now you can save the control points for each uh, side uh, for target and source. You can load them and you can clear them as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you like this new new changes to the wrapping algorithm uh, this this kind of result was uh, not possible with the wrapping algorithm in uh, Mesh Morpher so I'm really really 
satisfied with the changes to the wrapping algorithm. Uh, these changes uh, will be available both on uh, meshmorpho.com and on the marketplace. So just uh, wait for the marketplace to process the updates. So yeah, I think this is it for this video and uh, see you around. Bye.